So I just wanted to make a quick video introducing you to this new board here called the ESP Programmer, which is a fully standalone method for uploading firmware to your ESP32 based boards. This is really cool. So let me give you a quick demo here. So let's use a trig board for this example and we're gonna plug it straight into the FTDI header there. And the programmer board can also supply power to your target with four selectable options. We've got a three volt switched rail, five volts, 3.3 and even VBAT, which by the way, did I mention the board can be powered off of a battery. So then I just exported out from the Arduino IDE a test bin file here that will just flash the LED on the trig board. We plug that into the SD card slot, power it up. So you see we've got a green LED flashing there. So now all we got to do is hit the green button and you'll see the yellow LED flash a little bit there as it's getting a connection to the target ESP32 and it's flashing all four required bin files. And there we see the LED flashing on the trig board, which by the way, all that code does there is just toggle GPIO zero. Now I'm pretty excited because that's my new method for flashing trig boards. Previously, I had this sort of jig that I would use and I had software running on my computer that was running all of this automatically flashing and checking to see if everything is working on the trig board. Now this board has replaced all of that because the programmer board is based on the ESP32. So I actually have special code running on this one here that uh, flashes and fully tests every single trig board. So the ESP32 there goes into an AP mode that the target connects to and sends messages to indicating what's going on on the board. You know, what it thinks the battery voltage is, we're toggling relays, we're checking for status back, so it's a fully automated test fixture here just with this board, which is also gonna be nice for my manufacturer because I'll be able to send them down one of these boards and they can test it. And also what's cool is I could have 10 of these boards all on the bench flashing and testing boards, uh, which is a lot easier than the software on my computer, which can only really connect to one test fixture. And I've got a docs page set up here as well. So you could go through this and see exactly how the board works, how you can generate the files. Uh, I even have examples in here how you can copy ESP32 boards, uh, meaning you can copy the contents of the spy flash memory and also flash that as well. And the schematic for the board is open source. So you can go and see exactly what's going on on the board. And I did that on purpose because you might need to make modifications to the board if you are gonna build out a test fixture. And you know, there's nothing too special going on on the board. In fact, here is my first prototype all on a breadboard there. And of course the source code for the ESP programmer board is also uh, open source and you can pull that down there. I used this code here as my starting point. I just forked that, so I've got links in the code to where you can get everything you need. And one last cool thing I just wanna show you real quick here is that I actually used this board to program all of the boards I received from the manufacturer. So check this out. On this SD card here is the ESP programmer firmware. So now we'll just plug this straight in like that. And hit go. Okay, now we have a green flashing LED there, so that's done. Then I can actually plug in a trig board over to this board, hit go, and then it's full circle. So it's ESP32 programming, ESP32 programming, ESP, you know, so it goes on and on and on. So the boards can program each other. So yeah, just wanted to make a quick video introducing you to the programmer board. Um, I was gonna make a huge video going into the firmware, the hardware and all that stuff, but I think I'll make separate videos on all of that stuff and uh, we'll get into everything, how to generate the files, how to uh, clone boards, how to flash the, the spy flash, maybe, um, maybe even get into uh, encryption and secure boot and all that kind of stuff. But for now, again, just to introduce you to this and hopefully uh, you found this interesting. Thanks for watching.